At UCOR, we are supporting DOE Oak Ridge Environmental Management's cleanup mission at East Tennessee Technology Park. At Oak Ridge National Laboratory and at Y-12 National Security Complex, our cleanup efforts are supporting current and future missions. The final unneeded structure at East Tennessee Technology Park has come down, bringing an end to demolition activities that have removed more than 13 million square feet of facilities at the former uranium enrichment plant. UCOR has completed demolition of the 42,000 square foot K-1600 complex, a former test and demonstration facility for uranium enrichment centrifuges. Centris Energy Corporation leased the government-owned facility from 2002 until 2019. The company no longer needed the lease after consolidating its centrifuge testing and demonstration activities into a location in Oak Ridge. With all unneeded buildings at ETTP demolished, the focus is now on removing building slabs and conducting remedial action work at the site. Workers have completed removing the slab of the K-1006 building, which was demolished earlier this year. K-1006 was constructed in 1962 to support operations at the former Oak Ridge Gaseous Diffusion Plant. We're here at the old 770 powerhouse area. UCOR has a remedial action that we're trying to accomplish here that requires us to put a two-foot soil cover over the entire nine acres. To best accomplish this, we've implemented the use of a GPS technology with a dozer. When they're used hand in hand, what it allows the operator to do is know the exact contour that's desired, and using the GPS technology, he can achieve that grade or know exactly where he is relative to that grade, whether it's a half a foot low or an inch low. By using that technology, we could take the initial elevations and design it such that we did not have to add four or five foot of cover when we only needed a two foot cover. So the end state of it will allow water to flow off properly while minimizing the amount of backfill and topsoil needed just enough to achieve the two foot soil cover that was desired for the remedial action. At Y-12, the old critical experiment facility building 9213 has been transferred to UCOR for deactivation. Initial planning and walkdowns are underway to determine what needs to be done to bring the facility to the cold and dark state. Building 9213 was constructed in 1950 for nuclear criticality experiments and was the site of radiation experimentation and housed several radiation sources. Jane Mullis, manager of DOE's Oak Ridge Office of Environmental Management, and Ken Reuter, UCOR president and CEO, highlighted the historic milestone of our first in the world cleanup of a uranium enrichment complex at the virtual 6th Annual National Cleanup Workshop. The event brought together senior DOE executives and site officials, industry executives, and other stakeholders to discuss EM's progress around the national complex. In September, we held two of three virtual town halls to begin celebrating the historic milestone of demolishing all of the facilities at ETTP. These Vision 2020 conversations focused on what it took to achieve this first in the world success story and the role of partnerships in the accomplishment. The first town hall panel included OREM's Jay Mullis, UCOR's Ken Reuter, Amentum's Mark Whitney, Jacob's Karen Wymelt, and Paul Clay from ASRC Industrial Services. Panelists for the second town hall were UCOR's Ashley Saunders, labor leaders Jim Hart and Kevin Adkison, Roan County Executive Ron Woody, Oak Ridge Associated University's Eric Abelquist, and UT Knoxville's Wes Hines. Both sessions are available from UCOR's YouTube channel. Stay tuned to see the progress we make next month and follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.